Okay, I'm sitting in a 1999 van that I had for my father, and I was just going through some of the stuff I had on the website because I got kicked out of the house. And um, I realized that I really messed up some of the description of this football field diagram. The football field diagram is named, you know, after American football, where this team goes a little ways, and then they go this way, and then they have a television commercial. This team gets the ball and goes that way. Another television commercial. This one goes that way. Maybe they score a touchdown over here. So I used to do this business with labels, and it was all crap. Here is the key thing. Let, 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 so, so these are, and, and the idea, of course, is if I have this trading comparables, which in other videos I tell you how much I think about that, if you can really find a comparable and do your fake little analysis. And uh, the only thing you might want to do is change the, the x axis options here, okay? Now, I'm going to put this in uh, the, the website or, re, or with the instructions. The first step is to, is to uh, take this stuff and notice that I'm kind of fixing it as I go along. I can't believe, oh, that's okay. I'm not so sad. I'm going to have to go and redo the whole thing now, I think. But we, we have the high and the low and the, 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 the stuff, okay? And then you just, it's not that as complicated as I thought. You take the low case, and maybe everybody knows how to do this anyway. Maybe, maybe this whole stupid thing on that life is a waste. And then what you do, so, so I'll even put the low case, and this is kind of the key to do all of it. Take the low case, and then you take the high minus the low uh, increment. Okay, I'm spelling it out, and I didn't need an equal sign, and I'm having a crap day. But making a video, some, for some reason, when I talk to people... I've never met, and some of you give me nice little comments, and that... that, that uh, <laughs> that's therapy for me. As if I do need psychological help, as I told you in my other stuff. Okay, that's my, uh, why can I do that? Okay, and then this is the high. And we use this for the label. I'll put high for label. Okay, and then, so, and this, so this is just taking the high case. All right, once again, this is the high minus the low, and this is just simply the high case. And then let's take these ones and push them down, Control D. Okay, and then now let's make a graph. Okay, and once you've made a graph, I just messed up my thing, so it takes me a little while. You comes out as a column one, you change the chart type, go after you change the chart type, make it into a bar chart, whoops, and not that bar, the second bar. And I think what I'm going to do is, for my uh, uh, explanation of this on the website, I better take a copy of this. Okay. All right. And then... Uh, Okay, <sighs> and then after you do that, you you uh, then it's easier. I used to go have this oh this horrible label thing and all this and the, the, this one this precedent it only goes from one thirty here to one fifty. So I got the X scale wrong last time too. Not only was it an inefficient way, and then whoops. And then you just click on the whole thing, and then you you uh, 
let's first format the data series. And then always, that's not so hard, make it a no fill. And let's format this one and make it a no fill. Now, the one thing to not worry about is that the X and Y axis looks crazy. Okay, that's what I first got worried about it, but don't worry too much. And then after you do that, then you can right click and add data labels. Okay, but here's the problem. They're, they're all screwed up. But don't worry too much about that. Click on the data labels. And then click on the very last thing. You know, maybe I, I need to make a screenshot of this one, too. Okay. I'm trying to do two things at the same time, but you know, I, I... Okay. Because I, oh, I, I, I want to remember myself how to do this. And you go downstairs, and for that one, you put inside end, and it moves them over. And then you click on this one, and you do the same thing. You put add data labels, and then you click on it again, and you take those data ta labels... And, you know, a bunch of people are criticizing my formatting and all this. You know, I take this kind of seriously. And then you're just about done, finished. Because all you have to do then is change maybe, the, let's change the X scale. Let's take the X scale. Can I do that? Format the X axis and let's put the minimum X axis to be... Uh, 80. And the maximum, and I'm wondering if we could kind of find some macro to do this or something, but I, I, I'm not going to really worry about it. There probably is something we could do to make it automatic, so when you change all the stuff, it changes the x-axis in a kind of little smart way, because you need to leave an extra space. Maybe that's my little extra space. And I think that was a hell of a lot easier than the first, than all this other crap I had. Circular references? What in the heck's going on here? I don't have any circular references. I do? Okay, but goodbye.